Hi, this is Ray from RR Tackle. I wanted to talk today about the R2 outrigger clips. This clip uh, originated on a trip to Australia in 2007, fishing with Peter Wright. We we're fishing 130 tackle and giant baits, big black marlin, trying to get the clips to hold the lines and struggled. Added rubber bands to closed pins and, you know, over tightened clips and so on. So this was a byproduct of uh, really a couple of years of trial and error. My buddy Joe and I worked together on all the designing and came up with the clip that we were able to get a patent on and it's, uh, it's served real well. The, the idea behind this clip was that you could put a uh, clip in an outrigger where the line would travel, approach the clip like my finger and then roll back to the bait. So instead of like a blacks clip that might be oriented like this and the line kind of has to twist around it, this creates the arm, at your situation where the arm is at the right angle, the proper angle. So it's a nice clean, low friction arm. And that's really the key here is trying to drop back freely. Let's say a white marlin or a sailfish, even a blue marlin. You want, when you drop, you want it to go freely. You don't want any resistance. And so one of the first jobs was to make the clip designed with a heavy arm, a thick arm. We tumble this uh, several times and then hand polish it. It's a low carbon uh, 316 stainless. Um, and we made the jaws wide enough that you can adjust the clip loose enough that the arm literally falls out. So in other words, you can go from zero to the point that believe it or not, we can lift 20 pounds off the dock. So that was the whole goal, to have a clip that you could fish a ballyhoo in, or you could fish a 15 or 20 pound bait. Some of the guys in New England like it because they can put fish a 130 spreader bar, and there's enough clearance in this hole that their wind-ons will pass through. So let's say they hook tunas, they can wind their spreader bars and dangle them from the outriggers because their wind-on will freely pass through this large opening. Another thing to know is on the back of the clip, you see this tension knob, if you look at the back of the tension knob, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the letter P on this one and the letter S on this one. So that's port and starboard. So this is how this clip would be oriented. This, this clip would go on your port outrigger. The arm, if the outrigger were, if you were fishing, the arm would be opening downward towards the water. Let me tighten it up a little bit. So when you get bit, the arm would drop open towards the water. There's also a little nipple here on this ball. This ball helps the clip rotate towards the cockpit. And the reason for that is, let's say you uh, wound a snap swivel to the clip. If the arm were sideways like this, the snap would sit on this arm and the arm wouldn't be able to open. The clip pivots towards the cockpit to allow you to pop the clip out if a snap, snap swivel is stuck on that arm. But overall, I just think the clip turned out well. They're, like I said, uh, highly polished arms, strong jaws that can go all the way down to zero, from zero to over 20 pounds. One little disclaimer, be careful if you over tighten these clips, you can bend the rigger. So we, we note that on the packaging, but the, the bottom line is you can cause yourself some headaches if you don't pay attention to how tight these go because they go tighter than most clips. I'm gonna show you one more feature here that's pretty cool. You can actually change these arms out. Some guys who fish them a lot, you know, feeding lines through the arm, Eventually, you might notice a little bit of a grooving on this, on the stainless arm. You don't have to cut the mono to change the arm, and I'll show you how. So one thing I want to show you is that you can service these clips. You can actually change these arms without cutting the halyard. I just tied this up to show you what it would be like if your clip was on the halyard. If you look at this clip, this would be the port clip. This one would open downward on the, what would be called the right rigger as you're looking back in the cockpit. It's got three screws. I'll show you here. It's got the top screw, just a stainless screw, the pivot screw for the arm, and a, and a tension screw for the tension of the arm. You just take these three fasteners out and unscrew this tension knob, and the clip comes apart. You see this, this line stays intact. You can take this arm, we sell a, a kit now with two spare arms and, and a spare screw, and you would just take the arm out of the package, put a new arm in place. And see, this is a this is a horseshoe, so it just goes right back over the top. Everything lines up. 
tighten the screws back down. Be careful when you tighten these screws. It is screwing into plastic. I call it two finger tightening. Tighten it as tight as you can with two fingers. That's all you need. Now you would just put the tension screw back in. See, it, it goes from zero. Turn it just a little more. There you go. See, now it's got just a little bit of pressure on it. And another thing that's an, another helpful tip, don't be afraid to pull the screw out occasionally and lubricate it. It's just a plastic screw. The reason we use a plastic screw is not trying to be cheap, but it adds to the, to the lightweight feature. And we have an imperfection built into the thread. So it's a little bit like a lock, you know, like a, how a lock nut would be where it takes a little bit of pressure to turn it. We do that on purpose uh, so that the screw doesn't vibrate out while the boat's running. But anyways, taking the screw out, dip it in a little bit of blue grease, put it back in. What that does is allows you to to have a little bit more of a fine adjustment on the arm, on this, the, the tension that this arm would, would feel. Anyways, this clip uh, is pretty durable. The only thing that would go wrong really would be that arm. And like I said, we can now replace the arms in place. And the clip sometimes will turn white after a period of years. It's not really hurting anything. You can replace the clip or you can continue just to change the arm. But I hope you like them. They're very, very, uh, strong and they seem to do a good job so hope you enjoy